Good morning everyone. Good morning sa ating mga viewers and good morning also to you Miss G. And good morning to my kababayan dito sa Santa Fe, Bantayan Island, Cebu. Good morning to our Paris priest, Father Jay Villaseran. Good morning, good morning, good morning everyone. So it's been a while hindi talaga ako nakapag-report sa aming mga activities dito sa aming parokya. So this morning, I am so excited to tell you what's going on in our parish. So just a recap, um, Paris Caritas Sabu was institutionalized last March 2022. And there was a decree that was distributed uh, requesting all the parishes to have their own Paris Caritas na office. And I am so proud to say that even before the Paris Caritas Cebu was institutionalized, we already have our Paris Caritas na office because RRU nakapasok dito sa aming isla and uh, we've undergone 22 days of extraordinary formation na class. Um, it was headed by Father Charles Jaime, our, our Relief and Rehabilitation Unit Sabu. So, 27 dedicated the mga volunteers sa aming social action. So, we are so happy and our parish is so happy with that. And inside our social action center, we have seven ministries. So, one of that is the Relief and Rehabilitation Unit. Uh, ito yung mga tumatakbo during disaster and mga kalamidad. And we also have ministries on health, ministries on education, ministries on environment, and ministries on social advocacies, ministries on livelihood, and we have the ministry on Alay Kapwa. Okay, so this morning I'll be talking to you or I'll be informing you all about our program with Alay Kapwa. But before that, I would like to say thank you to Sir Benny and also to Father Alex Kala of Paris Carita Sabu kasi pumunta talaga sila dito sa aming parokya and they explained to us how the Alay Kapwa would run. So after that one, nagdi-distribute na kami ng mga um, recycled plastic mineral bottles and also canisters. Doon inilalagay ng mga coins and mga piso-piso as their donation or help para sa ating alay kapwa. That's how we gathered our alay kapwa fund. So with that one, we distributed um, relief goods, um, groceries, foods to those barangays, identified barangays and areas na talagang nangailangan ng tulong natin. It's been a while na ginagawa natin ang ganito. Parang nagdudul out tayo ng mga goods sa mga taong nangangailangan. Kasi as you all know, talagang after the super typhoon Yolanda and even the pandemic or COVID-19, talagang ang mga kababayan natin dito sa Santa Fe was not able to stand. Di talaga nakabangon kasi nahihirapan talaga sila with the present situation. Marami talagang naghihirap. Maraming almost hindi na nakakakain. Maraming nawalan ng trabaho or even mga negosyo nila. So talagang naghihirap yung ating komodidad dito sa Santa Fe. Okay, so, but after a while, we evaluated yung ginagawa natin. Nakikita natin na why not um, go to a specific program specific namin na system on how to run the Alay Kapwa. So, we sit down with our Paris priest, Father Dave Villasaran, and also the chapel leaders and the youth and us, the volunteers. And we decided or we come up to a decision na we will help one family at a time. So, our program is Help a Family Through Alay Kapwa Fund. But good thing is, not only the Alay Kapwa Fund yung tinutulong natin, we invited or we encouraged one family also to help another family. So, medyo okay siya. So, we connected or we linked to the different chapels. Chapel to chapel po tayo na, na tumutulong ng ating mga beneficiaries. Kasi yung mga chapel leaders natin or the chapel youth are the ones who knows kung sino talaga yung mga taong na nangailangan sa kanilang lugar. So, after identifying kung sino yung mga least of our brothers and sisters or the poorest of the poor na kailangan talaga natin tulungan, uh, we will go there and document, took some pictures and videos para meron tayong mga documents na masisave. 
And then, i-award natin or tutulungan natin or bibigyan natin ng mga groceries during every Sunday na Mass. So, meron tayong isang family or isang beneficiary na tutulungan natin every Sunday. Okay? So, after that one, we were able to help 16. 16 na mga beneficiaries or family with the 16 chapels that we have um, in our island and another island in Hilan Tagaan. But after a while, before we run for the second phase na or second round, we were so glad and happy. Kasi pumasok na si Daughters of St. Camilos. Uh, as we all know, Daughters of St. Camilos is a congregation that their mission is to help the poor, the sick, and the suffering. So, medyo happy na po tayo kasi meron na tayong mga extra hands to help us out sa ating alay kapwa na program. So, meron tayong mga madre or mga sisters na tumutulong sa atin to take care of the sick beneficiaries or sick people in our community. So, doon ang ginagawa namin, binabalikan natin yun sa first round, yung mga beneficiaries natin sa different chapels. At ina-identify natin kasi nakita natin sa as at evaluation that most of the beneficiaries that we have for the first round are PWDs, sick people, and um, senior citizen. So, nakikita natin marami yung may mga sakit. Meron yung dapat talaga natin tulungan. So, we have the madres in the Daughters of St. Camilos to help us out. So, while we run with our second round, sa Alay Kapwa, magdodol out pa rin tayo or nangimigay pa rin tayo ng mga groceries and relief goods. Here comes the volunteers of social action with the Daughters of St. Camilos para ititake care natin yung may mga may sakit. So, dito nakikita natin yung Alay Kapwa natin. Hindi lang namimigay as temporary na mga goods for their basic needs and their immediate na mga needs. Right now, dito sa second round natin, yung tinatawag natin, may puso na talaga. Mm, may puso na talaga yung alay kapwa natin. Kasi, this um, program na ginagawa natin, yung pagtitake care natin sa mga may sakit, is talagang may, ano ba yun? Taking care of the sick is like having compassion, having love. Um, giving selflessness service to our brothers and sisters na nangangailangan. Kasi marami sa ating mga kababayan dito or yung mga nangangailangan na talagang they don't have any voice at all. Yung bang kinikimkim lang nila yung kahirapan, sakit, yung mga sakit nila because they don't have anybody to turn to. So ngayon na nandito na yung kaagapay natin, the Daughters of St. Camilos, talagang nakikita natin na this is the real Alay Kapwa, giving them hope, giving them love, giving them compassion, giving them affection and care. So, ito yung nakikita natin na kailangan talaga ng ating mga kagubayan. Hindi lamang lahat na what's this what we call giving them what they need. Sometimes they have needs na deeper pa, nasa ilalim, nasa puso nila. So, as of now, ito yung setup natin sa ating parish with the Alay Kapwa program na nagraran. But at the same time, marami or marami mga positive na mga results sa ating um, komunidad. One of that is the evangelization. Kasi alam natin, through the Alay Kapwa na program, we were able to evangelize with our sick brother and sisters, people na talagang nahihirapan, and they would realize that they're still God. God who would help them, God that they will um, accompany them during their mga pangangailangan. And doon nila marirealize na hindi pala sila nag-iisa. Okay. And second is values, especially sa mga families or sa anak ng ating mga parishioners or ating mga anak, marirealize nila na there's still values sa mga coins na ibinibigay natin as tulong. Kasi if you want to help, hindi naman kailangan talagang malaking pera as in thousands and millions. Your piso, your coins can help a long, long way in helping our brothers and sisters na nangangailangan. And third, this is an opener to our community. Kasi dito sa atin, parang nasanay na tayo nga uh, Iniisip lang natin yung sarili natin, what we need, ang pangailangan ng ating family. We forgot that we have a lot of brothers and sisters over there in our neighbors, ating community na talagang nangailangan. And this time, marirealize natin, 
na this is one way of helping them. So, I guess this is all that I have to report as of now. I just want to say thank you to all the people who never stop in helping us, who are committed in helping us. May sa harapan, sa likod, or sa gilid na talagang tumutulong sa atin, especially sa mga sponsors natin sa Alay Kapwa na program, and also our ever dearest mabait at sumusuporta sa atin, our Paris Priest Father David Yasiran, and also our uh, volunteers, and even our youth, and our chapel leaders, and also our PPC and PFC officers. Thank you for helping us na talagang ma-realize itong program natin. It will go a long way, even as simple as this, pero alam ko marami pa rin tayong matutulungan na ating mga kapatid. Mula sa parukya ng Santo Nini, Santa Casabu, ito po si Judy Pilapil sa Caritas News on the Go.